So this is your last call. We're going to be looking at Ada One, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse all in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification to keep up with my current content. Other than that, ooh, Vitrified Duality. I really like this shader. This is one of my more favorite shaders just because it's a pretty cool color combo and it has a really good purple. We have New Pacific Rush, which is uh, the art, the shader from Titan, which is pretty rare considering Titan's not even in the not even a planet anymore well technically because i think during season of the deep it still is but you know you get what i mean it's not available as a public uh space anymore uh dead orbits fate this is from the first factions from vanilla destiny so that this is actually pretty rare i would de definitely tell you guys to pick it up just because it is a pretty good like a very clean black and white <laughs> as for the armor set it's going to be the following themed armor sets I'm going to say the Hunters have some pretty good, I mean, to be honest, everyone has pretty good pieces, except for like the Titans. A lot of those pieces are kind of jank for me, but for the Hunters, I think the helmet's pretty cool. The boots are pretty cool. The arms are pretty cool. The cloak is pretty cool. I say that in a different way because unfortunately a shader's pretty shitty, but the chest piece also shaders really shittily, but the cloak has just the benefit of just looking really cool. So I would just tell you, look for a really good shader that makes it look good and it'll look really really good titans i'm gonna be real with you i think the helmet is pretty cool although i hate that it's asymmetrical but it's still pretty cool um other than that i would honestly just pick this up if you were going for like a fallen themed titan like specifically you were like trying to pinpoint that look because a lot of these pieces i'm just kind of like whatever's on uh i will say the the mark is pretty cool um the boots i actually really like but I just never use it <laughs> and the arms are like whatever's the chest piece I also think is pretty interesting for the warlocks I think the helmet is pretty cool I think the chest piece is really cool I think the bond is super dope and then the arms and boots are pretty boring but very very usable that's for Banshee I didn't even know I had stuff for Banshee let's go hold on give me one second let's go all right for Banshee we have Whispering Slab with Archer's Temple and Sympathetic Arsenal uh, Timelines Vertex with Auto Loading Holster and Disruption Break. True Prophecy with Field Prep and Explosive Payload. Peace of Mind with Stats for All and Elemental Capacitor. And then Code Dulo with Surplus and Frenzy. I'm gonna be real, a lot of these are pretty not good. Uh, pretty trash, actually. Uh, with the only caveat of like maybe Sympathetic Arsenal on a bow would be nice. Reloading after a final blow, so reload stowed weapons. Yeah, like. I guess I could see people using this in PvP, maybe but i don't know timelines is okay i mean disruption break is nice but i, I don't think auto loading holster would be the one that i would go for true prophecy explosive payload is really nice but man there's a there's a perk on the first row i think it's uh the one that gives you double ammo when you pick a special ammo up. i forget what it's called overflow i think it's called yeah like that one's really gross because you'll just have fucking 18 on it with explosive payload which is absolutely foul peace of mind is a red border weapon so if you want to get this weapon definitely pick it up because this is a really good weapon and code duo surplus and frenzy which I, I don't even like frenzy in general so giving me this on a rocket launcher is just even more gross let me see uh, whatever so yeah let me know what you guys think uh we're gonna be going to zur which i don't even know where zur is give me one second zur is in the whining cove on the edz currently selling the season of the plunder activity armor there we go this is pretty cool i definitely think there's some pieces from this set that you definitely should pick up let me go to collections real quick because i don't even remember some of these for the other classes seasons it should be right under it's right here all right so catch killer hunters helmet is really cool the boots are definitely super cool and that's really it. I don't like the arms. The arms I've always had a huge issue with. Same thing with the chest piece. I don't like the pick in the front. If the pick wasn't there, I think this would be really cool. And then the cloak, it's the spear on the back that I'm not a big fan of. Usually when there's something on the cloak, like in the back, I'm usually not the biggest fan of it just because it looks really weird for hunters. But yeah, I definitely think there's some pieces here that you definitely should get. For the Titans, I'm going to be real. I like the arms a lot. The arms are super dope. The chest piece is pretty cool, but it does have a hook there. So I don't really mind it because it does look pretty cool on the Titans. For the boots, I actually don't even remember the boots off the top of my head. Let me go see real quick. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so I've made a Thor set with this set because of the hammer right there. So this is definitely pretty cool. Um, ooh, 
sent me to the other. Okay. The mark, unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of, and the helmet, I hate this helmet with a passion. Warlocks, ah, I think the, okay, okay, yeah. So the chest piece is really cool. Like, let me actually show, or I don't have to show you. I'm showing all of you the, all the armor right now, but the chest piece is definitely really cool. Helmet is really cool. The bond is really cool. The boots are really cool. The arms are the only thing I'm just kind of like, these kind of look whack as fuck. The, uh, I'm going to be honest with y'all. So for me, definitely pick the pieces that you want to pick. Me personally, like I said, uh, I, I would tell you to pick up the pieces that I said just because they're really, really cool. But again, legendary shards are going away. So if you have legendary shards to like splurge, get the, all of the armor. You will not regret it because some of these pieces are really good and you will definitely be utilizing them in your next sets. So that is pretty much it for the armor. As for the actual rolls are right here. I really like this armor, like I said, and it is pretty cool that they're actually giving. I really wish we had a dedicated seller that sold previous uh, seasonal armor just because that would make it a lot better. Honestly, the perfect vendor for that would be uh, Crow. Crow has been there since I want to say the beginning. Nah, he hasn't been there since. Uh, what was the season it was probably because season of the undying and up he wasn't there but after that he was so either either crow or someone that's been there since the beginning so that way they can give us like old armor but for the weapons we're going to be looking at nature of the beast i'm going to ignore that subsistence of dragonfly i mean pretty good pve but definitely a waste of a weapon i guess you would say wolf tone draw this one is one of my favorite bows this is this no this is not I was gonna say if this is a red border, but I don't think it is, because I think this is from Season of the Lost, which is not red border weapons. Peace of Mind, Perpetual Motion, and Harmony. Harmony? Yeah. Uh, arsenic Bite with 4B, or <laughs> Arsenic Bite 4B. Quick Draw and Sneak Bow. Mm, what does Sneak Bow do again? <laughs> Increase hold time and reload speed and prevent radar. Ooh, that's pretty foul. This would be good for like an invis hunter, I guess. Path of Least Resistance, Triple Tap, and One for All. Seven Sarah Saw Auto Loading with Fire in Line. That's actually decent. And then Who's Gal with Underdog and Cluster. So the only weapon, or the only two weapons that are red borders, is going to be the Peace of Mind and the Path of Least Resistance. Which, yeah. As for the exotic, we have Hawk Moon with I have I have the Storm. <laughs> which I hate that I have like some Eye of the Storm rolls. And okay, for me personally, I don't like weapons that are perks that do well when you're on a certain health threshold just because uh, it's it pisses me off. But at the same time, it works. Like, it definitely works. And for the exotics, we have Skyburner's Oath, Gemini Jester with some OK rolls, actually. I mean, I would probably want that recovery to be in resilience just because I prefer resilience over recovery at this point. Uh, Peregrine Greaves with too high mobility and get away with too high mobility but if you don't have these exotics definitely pick them up because even even with the trash rolls i wouldn't say trash rolls but like it's the 17 on this one is wasted and then the 11 on this one is wasted as well but even with with the mobility being too high it's still worth picking up let me see what i'm picking up right now um star eater scales i don't have i don't need any more star eater scales i have two that i've already master worked unless it's a really good roll also i've probably said this before in multiple videos but the reason i have the Takeli lee uh ornament on this is because i'm waiting for the digital variants to come out so that way i can do this because this is the this is the new look that i'm gonna do for the uh star eater scales but let's go to Everest. yeah that's what I, was, I forgot what we were doing for a second so for the shader and apostomatism is what we're looking at really could black it's a really cool black and orange um i would probably try to find a good armor set that has a minimal of the orange like just i, w I would want it to be like very rare to see it so that way it could be like oh like highlights almost that would be cool we have luminous void which is definitely a really cool shader and i'm happy i didn't buy the pack because i knew it was going to come out for sale so definitely pick this up i'm i'm putting this video out on sunday so you guys have enough time and if we want to be technical i made the review for this for the challenge videos and whatnot i made that on tuesday so you've had since tuesday to see this to see that video 
and you have since Sunday to see, to, to, uh, to see this video. So don't blame me if you don't get it. Pyramid entrance. <clears throat> we have corporate sponsorship for the sweet business, which I'm not, I don't really care. Um, if it had like a different, well, it's kind of different, but like if it had like a different scope, I, would, I think I would be interested. Uh, Dawn of Invention. <clears throat> I don't even remember picking this up, bro. Okay. For the stuff at the bottom, we have Shiro's Watch for the Trespasser, which I think this is kind of a lame ornament. I'm going to be real with y'all because uh, the ornament that we got from the Season Pass when this came out, way better. We have Omen of Saturn. We have a Shining Cabriolet. We have Convertible Shell. Time's Ticking. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Uh, specifically for thumbnails, that's why I like it. Uh, Simon Says. Okay. Uh, phosphine Stimulus. Swirling Leaf Entrance. And then Tiger Effects. For the shaderings, we have Boreal Char. I like Boreal Char a lot, especially when you combine it with other greens. My only annoyance with it is it has that white, but it is an, an off color, so you can definitely work around that. Uh, copper, copper, copper Tone Patina, which is such a cool shader. It's unfortunate that I really never use it just because I think it's kind of gaudy. Uh, Vibrant Medusa, which I've used on a video. I forget what that helmet is called. But it's a Titan exotic. Either way, I'll have the video up right here. Um, we have Metropolitan Acoustics, which is the Buzz Lightyear shader. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up next week. is going to be Iron Banner. Hopefully, I will be here all week for that because last time I ended up going to LA and I had to like make sure that I had enough footage for you guys, which is why I didn't do the shader video, which is also another thing I'm working on currently working on the shader video for the classes i already have the shaders i also have to work on the shaders for the uh for the season pass as well because i don't think i've done that video yet and overall i still have a bunch of videos to work through which is so funny to me because like right now destiny 2 at least for me i can't speak for everyone but for me destiny 2 is kind of dead right now um mostly because not not that i don't have stuff to do i have a bunch of stuff to do it's just that we have so much time that I really don't feel like playing right now because there's other stuff that I'm doing right now at the moment, which I will be talking about that probably in a few hours. I'll probably post another video explaining like what I've been doing and what are my my thoughts on Destiny 2 right now and what I'm going to be doing like content wise. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys want to see that video, let me know because I have been thinking about making like a what I've been doing this week in in my life or whatever so that way you guys can get a sneak peek of like what i'm doing not just in destiny 2 but also like in life like for example like my cat fucking ran away what was it last week and it was really rough i didn't make a video for a while at least like a new video because it was really rough like i'm telling you it was dark like i i really love my cat and we're hoping someone picked them up but knowing where i live he's the a dog probably got him so it's stuff like that out that I would share, like just things in my life. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Other than that, I appreciate y'all coming up to this point. I really do. You guys are the real ones. Other than that, be safe. I will see you guys later.